hello guys so in this video I'm gonna show you how to grant the permission using your iOS devices so you have to download an app I have, uh, the link of that app I have left in the description box so you can download the app uh, in your iOS devices from that link after downloading that app open it and click on connect new device wirelessly uh, in this screen you will be asked to enter the IP address and the code so for IP address you will have to go to your Fire TV uh, device in the settings you can you will have to go to about and in the network you will be getting the information about the IP address of your Fire TV device so as in this case my IP address is 192.168.31.87 so I have entered the IP address here in this app and in the port I will enter 5555 4 times 5 and then I will click on connect. You have to ensure that the ADB debugging is enabled in your Fire TV device and uh, the uh, your iOS device and Fire TV device are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network and then click on connect and after clicking on connect you will be presented with a prompt in the fire tv device you have to check the box and click on ok button and then it will show that connection result is completed click on ok and Here in the devices, you have to click on the add a device. Now, in the screen, you have to slide to the fifth screen. In this screen, you have to copy and paste a command here. Let me copy the command from the description. So I'll copy this command here and paste in this box then after pasting click on this run icon and that's it you have uh, granted the permission to the app now let's test it out After you have granted the permission, go to manage install applications and then go to volume control and click on clear data and click on force stop. After that, launch the application and you have done the steps of granting the permission and the uh, this completes the initial setup that is required to use this app. So we can see that the permission is, is granted and app is fully functional now. You can see here uh, the volume level is going down and up on the clicks of right and left. Let's test this in YouTube. So you can see that the volume is loading down and raising up upon clicking the right and left button. So that's all in this video guys, thank you.